What if you could edit your photo just by talking to AI? No slider, no Photoshop, just type in the prompt and boom. Today, I'm going to see if ChatGTP can actually do high-end scale touching for an image. And I'm going to compare the results to other AI photo editing software like Evoto and Retouch for me. Let's jump right into it. So I'm just going to come to ChatGTP.com and just upload the image I want to edit and just give it a prompt. All right, so this is my prompt. Hi, can you help me retouch this image using macro dodge and burn? I want to achieve a professional high-end skin retouching results. So all I have to do from here is just click enter and it's just going to try and edit that image for us. So before that, let me show you what Evoto can do. So this is the Evoto software. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. So this is done entirely by AI. So let me just reset everything I've done so I can show you how it's done. So I'm going to click on reset. So this is our original image. The first thing we want to do, we want to remove the blemishes for our image using AI. So I'm going to come to this face refinement right here under this blemishes remover and just take this wrinkle or acne up. I'm just going to try and remove the blemishes for my image. All right. So after that, if you want to reduce the face shine, you can actually do that right here. But I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to retouch this image. All right. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. Come to this dark circle under the eyes and just move this slider up. All right, so you're just going to move those dark circles under the eyes. So if I want to move the eye bag, I can click on this eye bag right here, drag it all the way up, and just going to remove the eye bag from me. And also, if I want to remove those dark lines, I'm just going to come under this lower eyelid and take it back a little bit and just going to remove them for us. So we don't want to do too much, we just want to leave it as natural as possible. All right. So I'm going to scroll the way down, come to my dodge and burn. So if I want to do dodge and burn for this image, I'm going to come to under scale retouching. You are going to see even dodge and burn right here. So all I have to do is move this slider up. I'm just going to do a dodge and burn for us. This is amazing. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Also, if you want to do your global dodge and burn or control dodge and burn, you can just come to this sculpt right here and take it up. I'm just going to shape it for you. You can see before and the after what we've done so far with ai just by moving a couple of sliders okay so if you feel it's too much you can actually take it down by feet it works for me the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to use frequency separation to smoothen it even more so i'm going to come under this frequency separation right here take the slider up to 100 now this is a new feature if i want to add texture to this image with evoto all i have to do is come to this high frequency and move the slider up and it's going to add more of textures as you can see while if i want to reduce textures i can actually take this down and it's going to reduce texture honestly i've never saw this feature inside of evoto before this feature is really amazing so i can control the amount of texture and the amount of blur i want to my image using frequency separation it blows my mind so i'm going to take this high frequency up because i want to add textures to my image so i think it works for me and also Take this low frequency up just to blur it a little bit or make it smooth a little bit. So, see the before and the after. Amazing, just by using AI. All right, so if you still want to soften out the skin, you can come to this skin soft right here and just soften it out a little bit. Now, for the body, if I want to make the body soft, I can come to this dodge and burn, take it all the way up, come to focus a portion again. This one is affecting only the body. So I'm going to take it up like this for the focus separation, just for the body. All right. So this is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. You can see how good it is. The before and the after. And this is perfectly acceptable. This is really, really, really good. But if you want to take it a step further using AI, you can scroll all the way down and just add a bit of textures to your image. All right. Unify the face to make the face skin to look even. Also, unify the body, unify both the face and the body just like this, all right? See the before and the after, the before and the after. And if it is looking too smooth, you can come back to your frequency separation and reduce the frequency separation and also reduce the dodge and bomb if you feel it's looking too smooth, all right? So, see the before and the after, the before and the after. So I'm going to compare this result with ChatGTP results in a bit. But before I do that, let's go to Photoshop and see what we can do with the Retouch for me. Now the Retouch for me is a Photoshop plugin. 
to use it, I'm first of all going to duplicate my background layer, I'll press now Command J, I'll Control J. Now, I'm just going to remove the blemishes from this image, all right? Now, to remove the blemishes, I'm going to come to Filter, come to Retouch on me, and click on Heal right here. So, let's just wait for it to load. It has finished loading. If I zoom right now, you can see it's just going to try and remove the blemishes for us. See the before and the after. The before and the after. And with this sensitivity slider right here, you can choose the amount of blemishes you want to remove. So, I usually leave it at 100 and I'm going to click on apply. All right, it has finished applying. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to smooth the skin using dodge and burn. So, to do that, I'm going to duplicate my background layer by pressing on command J. After that, I'm going to come to my filter, come to retouch on me, and click on dodge and burn right here. So let's just wait for it to load. So if you notice, we've been using slider to edit the image with the various AI tools we've been using so far. But with ChargeTP, we just wrote a prompt and give it to ChargeTP. We are going to see the results we are going to get in a little bit. So stay tuned. Okay, it has finished loading. Now if I zoom in, you can see this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Just try to smooth out the skin for us using Dodge and Bond. And what you can do from here with this blend right here, if you feel it's too much, you can take the blend down. If you feel it's not enough, you can take the blend up. So I'm going to leave the blend at 170. And for the warmth, you can add warmth to the dodge and burn. So you can just move this warmth slider to add warmth to the area that it dodge and burn. But I prefer to leave it at 7. After that, I'm going to make a soft light layer and hit apply. Now, once I hit apply, you can see the image. These are the parts it dodge and burn for us, as you can see. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to come to the blend mode, change from normal to soft light to bring back the original image. I'm going to rename this layer heal and rename this one dodge and burn. Okay, now let's let me just group them so you can see our before and after. These are before and after. Our before and after. So much better. And if we take it a step further, I'm going to create a stamp visible layer. I press no command option shift E or control shift alternate E. Come to filter and just use another AI tool called the Real Blum Retouch, which is a very underrated AI tool. So I want to come to filter, come to Real Blum Retouch and just click on Real Blum Retouch right here. So what this Real Blum is going to do for us, it's still going to do our micro dodge and bump for us and also try to remove more blemishes from our image, all right? Now, Reblum Retouch is very, very effective and very, very easy to use. So we just have a couple of slider. We have the natural, we have the fashion. And for the sliders, we have the general, which is what the dodge and burn, while the texture, which controls the amount of texture you want to leave and keep for your image, still using sliders, all right? So the before and the after. The before and the after. And like I said, you can control the amount of texture you want by reducing this texture slider and the amount of the jumbo you want by reducing this general slider right here. So I want to click on OK. Let's see the before and the after. OK, so this is after Reblum we touch. This is the before and the after. And the good thing about this Reblum is we can do it over and over and over again until you feel your image is smooth enough. So let me just go over everything I've done with this AI inside of Photoshop so you can see. We're going to name this group Photoshop AI. Photoshop AI. All right. So let's see the before. See our original image and after. The before and the after. And this is Evoto. The before and the after. Now, if we have to compare this Evoto edit to this Photoshop edit, I think this Evoto edit is much more better than what Photoshop AI retouch from did for us for this particular image. But for me personally, I still prefer the retouch from me and rebuild them to Evoto simply because the retouch from me and rebuild them are Photoshop plugin. So even after doing them, I can actually do my own personal manual edit on top of them inside of Photoshop instead of just leaving everything for AI to do my retouching for me. Don't get me wrong, Evoto is really great, but just my personal preference. Now let's see what ChatGTP actually did for us. So I want to go back to my ChatGTP right now. Moment of truth. All right. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I don't think ChatGTP can actually retouch image for us or edit image for us, but it just gives us the step to do it. So let me just add one more prompt. Can you help me edit it instead? Now let's see. Dun 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 dun. dun. So it's analyzing. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Our original image. 
Let's see what Chargity Page is going to do for us. Okay. Okay. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. This is our original image. And this is what Chargity Page actually did for us. It's total trash. So Chargity Page can't actually help you edit your image. At least not right now. Maybe in the future. I hope you find this video useful and helpful. And if you want to learn how to edit an image using Macro Dodge and Bomb from start to finish manually, check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.